Hello, financial fans. Interesting week, interesting couple of months here, February and back uh, during January. 2022 is uh, starting off as a roller coaster ride for those of us who are investors. Um, right now, the S&P 500 index is about one and a half uh, percent down for the year. My portfolio is down about 3.4 percent for the year, but that's actually quite good compared to where it uh, seemed to be on Thursday. Thursday when the market opened and one of my holdings is Amazon, A-M-Z-N, and Amazon was down and um, I have about 17% of my portfolio is in the Amazon holdings, and that's out of 70 stocks, 17% of that is in Amazon. And I probably should have um, diversified it more before earnings announcements, but um, actually it turned out to be incredibly good for me to have so much of my portfolio in Amazon I was about 6% down for the year 2022 uh, thus far, just a couple of days ago. And it looked like I'd be down more like 7 or 8% when earnings were announced. But when Amazon announced earnings, it was a spectacular uh, feat that Amazon pulled off. They had earnings much better than expected and the stock went up. It was up 14% uh, today and it was up yesterday. So, uh, and this by the way is Friday the 4th of February of 2022. What I'm getting to is uh, everything's going reasonably well. The market for me as of this far into the new year is down a little bit but uh, not a spectacular amount and there are a lot of very good news items coming down the pike when they uh, happen to occur and things look good for uh, the stock market I think for the rest of 2022 for those of us who are investors in stocks and not uh, those of us who are speculators in uh, whether or not a particular stock will be going up or down one quarter of a percent depending on the uh, remarks at Reddit or whatever. But with that in mind, let's uh, talk a little bit about some stocks that are looking good. Uh, when I say there's good news coming this year, two fields that are really good areas probably to be heavy weighted in uh, the oil sector and the banking or financial sectors. Those look pretty good this year. Just uh, pay attention to them. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Otherwise, I'd be up more than uh, three and a half percent in my portfolio, wouldn't I? But I'm real happy where I am and we shall see on December 31st or, or whatever is the last trading day of 2022 where my portfolio is at that time. And for right now, I'll mention four stocks that are stocks to consider if you are an investor uh, or you just want to play for funsies and look at the paper numbers and uh, what is uh, happening to different uh, companies. We will begin with uh, First Bank Corp uh, and the symbol FBP and it closed uh, on Friday. Today it closed at $14.67 and after hours it dropped uh, a penny to $14.66 per share. And the first column on the left, two-thirds of the way down, 52-week range. And the low price per share over the past 52 weeks, $9.61, the high, $16.62, big spread there. The average volume, about 2 million shares trade every day, 
that's near the bottom of that first column. And all the way down there we see that this stock is considered by those who study the stocks very carefully, this stock is considered to be near fair value. Middle column, third item down, P.E. ratio, 11.2. I prefer something 10 or lower, but 11.2 is fine. I'll go along with that. This is a banking stock. It's a big uh, stock. It has the 2 million shares, 1.8 million shares trading every day. So 11.2 uh, is not uh, bad at all and it does have earnings. The forward dividend and yield, not quite 3%, 2.7% is what you get for holding on to the stock, so it's nice to get an extra check every now and then, or uh, to uh, reinvest in the same company, depending on whatever you have set up in your account. The one-year target estimate, the bottom of the middle column, $24 a share. That would be a huge jump up if something like that does happen. We uh, uh, can guess if it will or guess if it won't, but it um, looks pretty good. The numbers there look pretty good. Next stock we look at, First Horizon Corporation, another banking stock with the word first in the uh, name. FHN is the symbol and the stock was up 36 cents, 2%, over 2% on Friday. In the f uh, column on the left, two-thirds of the way down, 52-week range, $14.67 was the low, and $19.45 was the high for the past 52 weeks. The average volume near the bottom of that first column on the left, the average volume, four and a half million shares trade every day and this stock is considered to be undervalued and the middle column third item down PE ratio 10.2 I like that uh, First Horizon uh, Corporation FHN has a, a PE ratio near 10 and we look at the forward dividend and yield almost three and a half percent, 3.45 percent is the yield you receive for holding on to the stock if you decide to just hold it on, hold on to it for a year or longer to take advantage of capital gains taxes. Uh, one year target estimate, twenty dollars from 1774. That's a nice move upward and we also show move a little bit to the next stock J.P. Morgan Chase, uh, and by the way, all these stocks are uh, financial banking type stocks, J.P. Morgan Chase, J.P.M. is the symbol, $152.56 per share, and it was up over 2% also on Friday, up to and more than 2.5%, and uh, after hours went down $0.04 cents in value. The 52-week range one hundred thirty seven dollars and thirty eight cents was the low for the past fifty two weeks and one hundred seventy two dollars ninety six cents was the high look at the average volume thirteen and a half million shares trading every day and this uh, stock is considered to be undervalued and we look uh, at the PE ratio in the middle column third item down nine point nine three under 10. I like that a lot. Forward dividend and yield, 2.69% is what you receive for holding on to the stock. And the one-year target estimate, $174.58 a share. That would be a nice move upwards. We take a look now at Key Corporation, K-E-Y is the symbol. It was up over 2% also on Friday. $26.17, the current price per share, and after hours it didn't make any change in the price. The 52-week range, $17.90 was the low for the past 52 weeks, and $27.17 was the high. We're much closer to the high than we are to the low. The average volume, seven and a half million shares trade every day 
And in the um, middle column, we see the PE ratio, third item down, 9.94, also under 10. That is a, a good PE ratio. The forward dividend and yield, a little over 3% is what you get for holding on to the stock in the one-year target estimate. $28.11, just a small move upward, but that would still be a nice move upwards, and if one held on to it and added whatever gains you happen to get this year to the 3% you get for holding on to it, that looks like a pretty good set of numbers for any stock. And I thank you very much for watching.